I'm going to live with regret for that. Mm-hmm. Well, welcome to today. Today's, this morning's stream uh, got a little bit postponed from last night. I apologize for that. Uh, looks like we're doing full screen again. I thought I changed this last time. Hold on a second there. What are you doing, Telltale? Okay, decided to go full screen, but changed its mind. Well, that's just uh, fine and dandy with me. Now, the question is... Where's my window? It seems to have gotten lost. How unfortunate. Alright, there we go. It's... It's fine. Uh, well, I... I did click, but in actuality, what I wanted was to, uh, you know, uh, use the controller, please. So yeah, uh, my usual viewers are probably not going to be able to see what's going on today, but that's okay. There's always the archives, and I really need to get on archiving uh, my streams from the past two weeks. I've been putting it off further and further. Hey, it's uh, Kit Harrington. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the wall! Or however it goes. <clears throat> oh, jeez, that boom. I hope that didn't hurt you guys' ears like me. Speaking of booms, there's a nasty bit of storm clouds brewing outside. I hope that no thunder comes of it. If it does, it's probably going to destroy my stream. Actually, probably even just a bit of a rain shower might interrupt what we're doing here. Might throttle me down. These are dark days, I fear. There's one. There's two. Uh, wait a minute, that's the same one. Grove must never be lost. You're sending him to the wall. The boy's done nothing wrong. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Duncan. I've decided to name you as my sentinel. There, see? I'm just we made a choice. It's gonna have impacts, not probably. To offer help for your family. Probably not. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the Crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to Don't give me that smoldering look, brother, Peter. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. And there's two. No. On screen, anyway. Don't let them take me! I'm gonna go ahead and mark that as three. I have no hope for that kid. Yeah, feel free to keep count at home. Uh, there's probably going to be at least a double digit body count. As we go through the series, Jesus Christ, that's loud. Meanwhile, across the narrow sea. Time to take a piss! And hopefully not get stung to death by a goddamn scorpion. Vickers, look out! Or oh, whatever your name is. Oh, right. Asher, that's his name. What's up? It's just me, Beska. <sighs> Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. Uh. Yeah, what was with that? You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. Give me a moment to look at things, people. This stuff is weak compared to Northern Ale. Yeah, I bet a lot of things are. Are you, are you from the north or are you from the true north? I complained to the owner, except he's probably dead. Who killed, killed him? Since the masters fled. Oh, was this right after uh, Daenerys did something big? I got a feeling we'll be following nice in her the place to ourselves, though. footsteps a little bit. Christ. This is my problem with these Telltale games, is I never get a chance to talk over them. I thought this would be a good thing to... This uh, was probably a nice place before it was abandoned. Look at a spill. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. <laughs> a genuinely good question. Why don't we? Ah, whatever. Who cares? 
We probably won't be here but for a minute. Hey, nice. Only a forester brings his axe all the way to Essos. Wicked little thing, though. All right, we are the Berserker class of Fire Emblem Fates. We're going to take our trusty axe. That thing is tiny. Ah, well, that's probably for the best. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. Despite what Fire Emblem would have me believe, it is not always advantageous to bring an axe that is literally half your size. You know, you gotta have, be able to maneuver around the battlefield at least a little bit. Uh, do, don't do it. Don't do it. You probably got something important to do. Uh, ooh, cool. I don't think I noticed that before. I think I've played through this chapter this once before. This probably used to be nice. But I can't remember. Oh yeah, there was definitely blood here. Veska, it is from us. From us? What's that supposed to mean? Do you two have a tussle in here? I gotta say, I dig the music. I know, I know. Woman cell sword. Four years fighting by your side, and you still can't get over it. Come on, Asha, quit staring. Let's get to drinking. Ale. Goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste of time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. <laughs> I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. Nowhere else will you find a hive you of scum. At home. I know I do. What? May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. Fair enough. Another round? Nope. Looks like we got business. And I got a feeling it's going to be a grizzly variety. So, uh, good thing we grabbed that axe. Wait, did you guys not hear that? That was like a, the sound of someone knocking. Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Uh... Go see if he's still breathing. Yeah, you two... Oh! Hi! I didn't see you back there, buddy! How's he doing? <laughs> we need him alive to collect his bounty. After that... <laughs> I don't even have anything to respond to that. Means, yes, Beska, our valuable hostage is just fine. Whatever. Eight hundred gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. Bounty from who? We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. Are we collecting a bounty for Daenerys? Fat men in my life, thank you. Oh. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who needs the best whores when the bad ones are so much more fun? I knew That's not I what I picked. For a reason. Oh, whatever. My point is, with enough coin, we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To yeah, why would you want to go back to a, a dog-infested place like home. that? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Kind of curious to hear this lady talking about houses. love. Who fucking cares? It's all an excuse to tell everyone else what to do. They're still my family. My brothers and sisters. They had nothing to do with it. I suppose that's true. Just remember... We have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Uh, I don't know if one bounty is gonna get you that rich. Let's make a toast. To all uh, those deadly bastards. To 800 gold dragons in our pocket. whoop de doo well I remembered where the Y button was. Good for me. That was that was a big problem last time. That's only because I had time to look at the damn controller. The slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did, with his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Who's the Lost Legion? Is that Tazal from the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again. Tazal, isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? I cut your fucking throats. 
It's good to see you too, Tazal. Where is he? Where's who? Uh, you talking about the guy we found? Is he not Here. just... 400 dragons. They must be working for the wise masters. And that's all you're getting. The bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. Jeez, don't need to be a prick about it. Which way did they come in that they couldn't see him? And of course they're just going to cheat us anyway. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valyria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody hell. So much for that. And we're done with you too. You just made a huge mistake, Tazal. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how- Ho Hold on, hold on. Hold on a second. Am I imagining things or did the game just get way fucking louder? I'm going to need to adjust that. Let's turn it down by six notches. I can't have the game overpowering me, I'm sorry. I had to pause the game for that. Alright. <clears throat> Back to Asha Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. Now he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you you cheaty monk. We get the blame. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. Alright, who dies first? I don't even know what my options were. I just... Kill them! Now! <laughs> yes! Yes! Fuck him up! Here's one! Reflexes! I don't even know what button I pressed. She couldn't pass me! Uh... I don't think I pressed the right thing. Whatever. You... You broke my fucking sword! Uh, did I fuck up? I don't know. You owe me one. Nice! You can only pull that off in a cinematic. Out of weapons! Use a plate! Yes! <laughs> Yes! I feel like I'm fairly in control here, but whatever. It's working out in my favor. Oh shit. This is for Holantis. Get in there! Fuck you, Ash. Shit! Yeah, that was the wrong button. Where's that to Fala Morgulis? Good. Is that the first time I've died? So yeah, fuck the X button. It's on a different play. It's in a different location in every single game console. Whatever. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that looks so stupid. I love it. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> that brothel in Norvos. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. Well, let's just take the loot and go, shall we? Oh fuck. Of course there's more. To Saul. Kill them both. Asha. Oh look who it is. How did you fucking get here? What in all the gods of fire and fuck? Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Oh. oh shit, he's not dead. More on their way. We he lost a hand. 
He got his knee crushed in, and he got away that fast? Are you kidding me? Nice. Come on. Malcolm. Damn it. So that wasn't even real. Oh my fucking god. Stop, Asher. I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. You know what? what? I bet she would have made a stink if we had just you left her behind. I'm here to bring you home. Ah, kind of a rough time for that. It's gonna be a wonder if we ever make it out of here alive anyway. Oh, there's the intro. By the way, is this gonna get my VOD muted? I should have checked. Ah, well, too late for it now, isn't it? <laughs> Enjoy it, I suppose. Uh, I feel like I had something to say about the most recent episode, but uh, it's uh, slipping on my tongue. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Boy, Sam, let me tell you, that dragon went down like a fly in this water. Like a fly on a zapper. I thought they were supposed to be king of the beast, Sam! No, that's the lion you're thinking of, Max. Speaking of which... Oh, wait a minute, that's Yonkai. What am I doing all the way out here? Uh, anyway, things don't look too good, as of the most recent GOT episode, yo. The Lost Lords. How far apart are our main characters going to be? Are we just going to instantly warp back to uh, King's Landing? Or uh, Forester Territory? Or even uh, White Hill Territory? Where the hell are we? No shit! I completely forgot that this fucker made it out alive. So, finally awake, eh? The Lords must have captured you guard the border. However the fuck it goes. Welcome to Skyrim! We're on a bucket of bodies. Oh, I'd say just keep quiet. Pretty damn likely this is a uh, Bolton man or a Frey. Yeah, what I tell you. So fucking far away. Oh dear. I don't think we need to flip it over to see who that is. Oh Jesus! Never mind. Father. Yeah, if I were in his shoes, I'd probably vomit right about now. Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead! Oh, what? I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Royland. You again. Who have you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I, lord, uh, a stable boy was, in Bannerman's uh, clothes. You Sir think Ryland. it's a Duskendale, and you have the fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has oh, suffered the loss of many oh. good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead. They're Forrester. Look at what? their colors. A fine trick. I'm sure you expected to be... Please. <laughs> now. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. Oh, fuck that. You come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? Oh, I, I heard you. That was a sheep fucker. Come on. Sorry, sir. I don't worry, you, sir. Seven hours. What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there. Who are you? It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By the gods, it is you! Sir? 
Fetch the Maester! Hurry! Fetch the Maester! Roderick! Wow, it's been a really long time. I can't remember anything that happened in this game. Of course, I never did play past this episode, so, uh... Oh, no, are we gonna have to look at maggots and wounds again? This fucking game. This fucking writers! Ugh, no! No! Cut further away! Cut to a different story! I don't need to see this! Blech. I just ate! My lord! You should not be awake. The oh, fuck. The milk of a puppy. Drink. Anesthetic, you'd better fucking drink it. That's it. Roderick. My lady. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let him. Yeah, let him finish. Sir, lady, Can't even finish the sentence yourself. Roderick, what have they done to you? They that was really, really not the time, them. lady. As it is, he may never walk again. Oh, Christ. Are you telling me he's going to be in brand shoes? Roderick? Don't what touch him. Him? him. You'd he better fucking him. wash your hands. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Oh, for Christ's sake. Does a delicate moment in the surgery mean nothing to you people? Have any of you ever even witnessed a surgery before? Oh my goodness. That is an... In that's an angelic singing voice. I gotta hand it to you. Is that our kid sister? Oh yeah, didn't they say that she was uh, a talented singer while as, uh, Ethan was a talented lute player? What do you mean, use? Oh, fuck. Does she... Uh, okay. I thought she was... I haven't heard that one before. It's nice. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I think... Uh, oh, sorry. God! No, no, no. For fuck's sake, sorry. be careful. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Call me a sister. Uh. How bad is it? I don't know. Can Mr. we even move him? Says your leg may never fully heal. Funny thing. I thought it was our face and face. like upper body that got fucked up. <laughs> oh, you tell me it don't look good. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go about it. Keep things dare. keep things like light lighthearted around the children. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Oh, how can we keep it lighthearted after Ramsey's already paid us a fucking visit? Away. Ethan grabbed me, and that monster put a blade through his throat like it was nothing. Ethan, how could this happen to him? I can't believe he's gone. Me neither. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. Oh boy, that's a I lot can't. of fucking pressure. <laughs> no tears. You're stronger than that. What? The fuck is going on out there? It's been chaos here since he died. Oh, that's right. Didn't we get like a White Hill garrison installed? The White Hill soldiers yep. stationed in our courtyard. Oh, jeez. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. I will do what I must to preserve House Forrester. I don't mean to put unwanted pressure on you. I just. It's all right. I know you still need time to heal, but... Be fine, Talia. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... Sure, why not? I, go. I got a fucking axe Maybe split through fun. my head, but I'll go. Yeah, just I'll just hobble along there. 
But if you're not ready... I guess we'll see. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I missed you, brother. This is going to be a long to walk down to the end of the hall. I know you can. <laughs> Press A to get up from bed. Brilliant. Amazing you can even do that much. But we're going to need a bit of help. Like, watch this. I'm going to take one step. Yeah, there we go. Patrick. It was fine until I put my foot back on the ground. Fine. <laughs> Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Hmm. Not when the house appears so weak already. I need to attend that meeting. And you will. But you will get there on your feet. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Oh, come on. There's nothing wrong with being seen with your kid sister. Thank you, Talia. And besides that, we need to make her feel like she's being helpful. Ready? You know, if anyone asks, we'll just say that we were uh, humoring her. That's it. <sighs> Although, I think a simple cane would uh, be of some assistance. Is there one floating around here, perhaps? Everyone yes? will be no? so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. I wonder if they're going to tell him the secret about the North Grove. Where even is the North Grove? Is it even, like, in the north, or is it beyond the wall? I got a feeling it might actually be beyond the wall. And that it's Garrett that's- whoa! Oh, that's my inventory. I was wondering what in the world that was. Uh, yes, I would actually like to look wow. at the wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. They got the world's one and only elevator. Recruits at the gate! That kind of yet to be able to spot that from a distance. Oh! Yes, that, that is what I had selected in my inventory. Thank you very much. Well, we brought a horse. I hope that makes us a little bit more valuable than you might otherwise think. Uh, uh, eh, eh, eh. Man, <laughs> this is a really finicky input here. New arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. Not quite. On a horse, no less. Who's Frostfinger? But we see a single familiar face here. This is Castle Black, after all. Or. Are most of the familiar faces north of the wall right about now? Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Don't tell him off. That was barely even a nudge. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? Aye, she all does. Because mm. you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Ah, uh, you're gonna be our very own pick, you want. aren't you? Handles all new recruits. <laughs> I love that little that grizzled old prune over there. Love that little those smolder that uh, are all dead men. Garrett don't does. Don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Oh come on, Sam made it work. Sparring like crows. A, a worldling girl, maybe. You've had an assault. 
Are we going to get yelled at if we walk too far away? No, nope, we'll just hit an invisible wall. Barrels! What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Hmm. I guess this is before the wildling raid on the wall, then. I've gotten my order of events a little bit out of... Whoa, okay, that guy. The zoom in on his fingers was definitely important. Uh... <coughs> You recruits. Hey, I didn't even say anything. You train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I was a squire. I served Lord Forrester of Ironrath. A squire from Ironrath. And how does a squire get himself sent to the wall? You are a thief. I killed a man. You abandon your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either, Garrett Tuttle. How do you know my name? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. Well, that's a bit presumptuous. <laughs> I don't think so I don't think the Night's Watch takes orders from just anyone. About you. Well, all I'm right. Good thing we didn't try to kill. I mean, lie. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. All right, let's get down to business. Oh, and Tuttle. Hey. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, you are about to head to work. Well, hello and goodbye, as they say. Hey, at least you got to see that this fellow lived. Didn't expect him to get past the first scene. I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. Shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Yeah, it's not going to be that easy, is it? Well, I say he's dead. Yeah, we can barely move right now. Place. Fill me up, would you? And bring you some salted pork while you're at it. Golly, <laughs> these fucking place. leeches! Listen to them. Sup? Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? Yeah, none of your fucking business, now he's is hideous. it? <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest Real cursed. shame about your leg, my give it a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. Seriously, what a bunch of piss ants. Should have just evicted them while we had the chance. Uh, who you be? We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> go round. Wow! Move aside, what an sir. absolute prick! I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. Wow, these people just have to make a show of everything, don't they? I oh. wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? He's gonna do it, isn't he? He's gonna trip him. God, if, if only Italia was a bit less of a 
A little bit less Santa and more, uh, more Arya. We'd be in a pretty good position right now. <sighs> Let's go. But hey, kudos to you for putting on a brave face. Seriously, though, no. is it possible for that to end with that guy just sweeping this guy under his legs? It's ridiculous. You're treating them like the yes. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. <laughs> 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 rather they the wine keeps their wits so dull. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Boy, oh boy. All right. Looks like we came just in time. How many times am I going to use those three <laughs> words? Man, oh man. Boy, oh boy. Lordy, oh lordy. My boy. My boy. This piece is what all true warriors strive for. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. Oh, she's fine. Give her a bit of respect. Now then. It's good. As you can see, I had an axe buried in my face. Where shall we begin? We didn't expect you so soon. The maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not yeah. here to talk about my elf. Let's get down to business. That's what I said at the Perhaps wall. That's what I'm going to say here. And that's what yeah, I'm going to say in King's Landing. And that's what I'm going to say in Yunkai. All right. Has told me the state of our house. Let's do it. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. I'll piss off. I know for a fact you wouldn't have served us much better. Listen to me, I'm like arguing over their argument. Oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsey stole them. told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead. And Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Objection! Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I am your lord. <laughs> of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Then find me one, Sir Ryland. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed. Oh and shit, our really? are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. Well, conjure one from wood. That's all we have, anyway. You forget the Glenmores. The who? You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Wow. Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Oh uh, boy, I think I remember this part of the story. Her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. Oh no, this sort of conversation I am not good at. We so desperately need. Their army would become oathbound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground. Yes. This marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's I'm not so certain, but I'm gonna put on a brave face Just anyway. Be careful not to push Elena too hard. I know that this is one when thing. Does come to Ironrath. She'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. This is one thing that can change pretty drastically, depending on how you handle it. drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Uh... Just handle it. Shoot. <laughs> we could keep them fed, but take away their wine. Well, that'd be something at least. Good. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Yeah, I have a feeling that they would cause a huge problem Easter. if they were drunk it's time when that to woman arrived. The ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Uh, I can already tell what that probably means. Welcome back, my lord. It's good to be back. Whoa. Oh, well, that's cool. I mean, I don't think that the flame is well, working as it's supposed to, but... When his mother passed. Looks kind of cool. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. Ah... <sighs> 
That poor How kid. Your song coming? It's really tragic that there's no way that you can help him. always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. Yeah, we should try and help. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. No, we don't need to sing. Just come up with a few lyrics. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. Ah, chin up, kiddo. You can do it. I believe in you. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. Really? I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Uh, I don't want to put any, like, accountability on that girl in King's Landing. Like, the way I see it, there's just no way to win down there. <sighs> Fine, I guess we have to at it's least try. Ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Uh, Marjorie was such a good person. How about I hope to visit soon? Lady Marjorie intends to visit again very soon. Lovely. They'll be pleased to hear that. There we go. See? <sighs> but, uh, oh. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, well, thank you. Scorch. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Who? Ah, uh, yes. One of my father's favorite <laughs> drinking companions. Oh, Mace. Who remembers Mace Tyrell? Boy, that was a laugh and a half of a man, let me tell you. He would have been good buddies with the... Uh... I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Uh, Robert. My pleasure, Lady Mira. Hmm. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. And how are how we supposed do to do that? Thank you, Marjorie. You read my mind. Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But what do we do for her? But it wouldn't be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. <sighs> you pushed Marjorie. me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. But we have to try to do everything we can I'd to better help. get going. Oh, wait. Is this something that I can't do? Mira, we'll talk more later. Because of, uh... Decisions we made in the past? Yeah, what did I say? Don't pin anything on this whole scenario in King's Landing. It's just not gonna work. Besides that, there has to be a way for the game to progress even without, uh... Securing the marriage. Uh, I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. Let's just Mira. forget that this. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard, oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps. Uh, no such luck. Or a declaration of war. What? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. Oh, what? If you don't mind. Go ahead, then. Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with I've those? I've got them. 
Well, alright, thanks for the non-answer then. Let's see if what I tell you. That this whole bit in King's Landing may as well not even exist, as far as I'm concerned. Ugh. It was painful watching Sansa go through the King's Landing chapters. Seems to keep getting colder. How are you holding up, Gendry? I mean, uh, Garen. Looks like you've oh, fuckhead. got a bit of a buddy on your you side. You might here. be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Yeah, all right then. I think we'll get along fine. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the Night's Watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the Wall? The Wall was erected over eight thousand years ago. To defend the realm from wildlings, white wolves. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. <laughs> Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. Wow. Nice. I was stuck in him instead. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Thievery, I'll bet. Potatoes? I got caught stealing a bag of them. You both need to stop talking. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the Potato Thief. There's one for the songs. Uh. My sister was on. I've got something for your sister. Leave him be. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Yeah, I had a feeling that wasn't going to end well. Total. Who was it? Uh, I'd say it was all of us. Fuck it. I'll take the blame. Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. It's what my uncle wanted. I had nothing so to do with it. all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive the rest of you Frostfinger Hi Kit Harrington here's your uh, here's your one appearance Go for the on, entire season <laughs> <laughs> Just out of nowhere and then best whoop. of luck Tuttle He's gone Uh, Here we go. Again. A test of strength, a test of archery. Actually, we're probably gonna have to do all of these, aren't we? Or do we go and talk to John? Well, where shall we begin? Let's see here. Demonstrate your combat skills. Well, where's that fellow with the barrels? He looked like he needed some help. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? Eh? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. Over to the winch! Right. Aye, aye, sir. I can do this. Uh, so... Come on. Up! 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 Want some help? <laughs> oh, don't give me that lucky smug so-and-so. Are you serious? Are you serious? Over to the winch, you say? Uh, where might that be? Uh, I can only seem to progress in one direction. Excuse me. Someone's gonna try and fuck us up, aren't they? Knew it. Seriously, fuck off, Finn. What have you got to gain by shoving us around? Ah, uh, whatever. If we can't handle one little stumble. 
I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing isn't frozen off. Oh, you're a prick. You know that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Whatever. Seriously, what, what the fuck is John, like, eyeballing us for? <laughs> and he's gone. Alright, so we got a test of strength, a test of uh, agility, uh, a test of logs. Wait, what's this? What's this all about? It's not ironwood. Too hard to burn. Hmm. Not quite. I'm assuming that's the. Seven hundred feet tall and eight thousand years old. I wasn't expecting you to say anything there. Uh, I was assuming he was going to say, "Eh, not quite." Got to go a little bit more if you want to complete the test of agility. Yeah, probably won't be too long. Uh, practice dummies. Can't quite get into a proper scuffle, but this will do. This will do. Ah, I see, I see. Oh shit! Mansrader will shit himself when he sees you coming. Let me show you. All right, pull it in, and then lock it in place. Then you load a bolt, and. All right. Let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Yeah, this Shoot might be a bit targets, tricky. Oh, all right then. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. All right. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Is it possible to accidentally shoot him? Good. Right target, chest. I am not even going to bother with that. Whoa, whoa, jeez. Not bad. Center, between the eyes. Between the eyes. I, I think, uh, I think there's a bit of auto aim going, all, going on here. All right, crossbow test taken care of, and Frostfinger just watches. You okay there, Pip? Or whatever your name is. Cotter, that's his name. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took these. Oh no. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. Yep, yeah, we're gonna have a dispute between these two, and I'm not sure if I can resolve it properly. Well, that's just how it is in the Night's Watch. Pet the horse. <laughs> yes. We will do to this to this horse what the mighty Jon Snow could not do to his beloved direwolf. I I think he liked it. All right. Uh, Castle Black. Eh, yeah, sure. What do you got to say about Castle Black? Uh, Castle Black. So this is home now. Eh, probably not for long, if I had to guess. So, what was left? Uh, do we have to go and spa? Yes. Alright, well, here we go. This will probably be the hardest one of them all. Watch your bloody tongue. You! Grab a practice sword. Alright. This one should do. Not that it matters. I'll be sparring with you today. Alright, mate, let's see what you got. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Uh, well, we will need it. Thank you. <gasps> Come on, keep at it. Yep, push the wrong thing. Fuck. 
Where's X? B for block. P for parry. Stick for stuck. Well four. Okay, I guess we did it anyway. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Well, <laughs> you wanna have a go then? It those dummies where it hurts. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... With your piss. Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Screw it. think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. This ain't gonna Give end well. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. Just calm down. Fight. Oh. Knew it. Knew it was gonna happen. I won't say it again. That wasn't very nice. And now about this. Fisticuffs! Boy oh boy! Hey, look! Fight! Fight! Yeah, get here they go again. Oh, come on. You guys are just gonna sit there and goad us. Yep, fucked it up. Now, I think you actually have to keep at this until he, like, begs you for mercy. Or whatever. What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. Did you get rid of it somehow? He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this. On your first bloody day of training. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Again, finger. doesn't matter what the fuck you say. Man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. <laughs> He's got such a pretty face compared to everyone else. No wonder. Mind your fucking manners. You. <sighs> Come with me. What was it that, uh, what's his name said? Uh, Torment? These three, jeez, they're gonna be a handful. Uh, what was it that Torment said? Hey, you're prettier than both, both my sis- No, not his sister, he said more, both my daughters! That's what he said. This Meanwhile... Come on, I want to know what John had to say. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. I'm glad someone likes it you here. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? Uh, yeah, I'm just depressed. Sorry. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Spying on men. Cersei's finest one. <gasps> Did you really? Come on, sit down. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen's cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. Uh, are we really gonna do this? Oh, whatever. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. Fine. Fucking whatever. I guess I'll take a drink too. As long as Sir Gregor's not watching. Or whatever. So, I, uh... Wow, you really gotta be sneaky with that, huh? Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, 
Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. Oh, uh, whatever. I won't tell a soul. Did you steal something from Marjorie? My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. Uh -huh. It was a disgrace to her family. How so? My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. Huh. Uh, what was it supposed to be, to be before? Mariah. I know that, but it's always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What happened to your mother? Lady Elena asked no questions. She took care of my mother. And when I was born, she gave me... Really? The Queen of Thorns did my that favor for you? After. It's hard to imagine her doing anything nice to anyone. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Yeah, I can't but without Lady Marjorie's help, I can't promise to help you with I that. I don't know how to make that happen. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. You should just ask her. Chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Please. Look, Mira, seriously, I can't. I can't. Make that I can't you could if you wanted. It's not that difficult. I'm gonna piss her off, but whatever. You just have to find another way, Sarah. I would, but. Come on! Why can't you just ask her yourself? I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. Seriously, though, I haven't. You need this more than I do. No, 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 no. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Oh, is that what the word is for two or more? Lord. Ladies, what have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? <laughs> I feel like that would be a response he would appreciate. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. Come on. Sarah, own up to it already. We found it in that bush. Lord Tyrion. Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Oh, that's Things right. We were changed. trying to have... Uh... My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. Ah, uh, the Battle of Blackwater. Good. He insisted I handle things myself. Oh, that's right. Tyrion get, didn't get the scar until after that battle. Of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill. He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped cell swords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Uh, perhaps not. I don't know. Come with me. And you'll These see. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. So what's the risk? What's the catch? My lady. Does uh, Marjorie need us here more? I don't know. Oh, Sarah, you better get rid of that thing ASAP. Meanwhile... We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be <laughs> in a merchant. 
Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. I guess Mira we're just taking Forrester. authority here, huh? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. I'm here to sell our ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. What the hell are you doing? Now, if you excuse us. Oh, he was You're just getting ready to open the door. Do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. Yeah, fuck it, just stare at him. <laughs> Lord Tyrion. Ah, oh, this Tyrion. must be embarrassing for both of them. When you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Well, at least this guy's got some okay, fucking gentlemen. manners. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? Oh, shoot. Uh, the details. I don't actually have much of anything in mind. I assume you have a proposition? There we go. I don't even know the statistics. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of ironwood. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't or it? you'll bring your houses to open war. Oh, hadn't considered that. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Fuck. Then that's a risk I'll have to take. <laughs> that's a... I don't know if that's a good idea, but... Oh, Tyrion didn't seem too pleased with that. I'll consider the arrangement. Yeah, he might not even do it. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Oh boy, what could it be? Don't worry. The terms will be fair. Yeah, I'll just put my trust in him. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. Oof. My lady. Who's this guy? What, what's he? What's he addressing us for? Is he ever gonna show up again? Oh right, we got business in Yunkai. Yo, Malcolm, what's shaking, my man? Are we just trying to sneak out of the city? This feels a bit uh, Assassin's Creedish. Frame rates. Spicy. Yeah, I don't think there's really. Hello. Not really much of anything we can do here. Hello. Goodbye. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. Come in with us, then. Hmm. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's and why we're here, where are we going to get that? To hire one. What do you bring a whole an loaded chest with him or something? And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. <laughs> no, you can't. No, we can't. <laughs> but, but fuck. There's a. Uh... None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. Does that mean we'll have to look elsewhere? What about Croft? One eyed Croft with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. 
But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he you owes me some Croft that. dinner. No. He'll help us. I'll make okay, sure. Okay, something weird's going on here. Do that? He didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. <laughs> right. Uh, he's got some kind of charm to him. Seriously, what is going on here? It's like the plague is about to sweep through here. Well. This it's like of dragons everyone in town knows know something that we don't. We make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What's up? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. Besky, you don't have to come. You could head to Astapor or even Car. No, I'm coming. Nothing there I can't handle. Well, whoa! <laughs> that actually caught me off guard. Shit, thanks, Veska. Ponte Renas! Ponte Renas! Woo, yeah, they're out for blood. Uh. Jeez, this reminds me of the prologue to Radiant Dawn. Well, if a couple of kids and a bird can make it out of uh, downtown day in intact, surely we can do the same with just the three of us. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe chill. I don't want to make a scene. How's that guy not seeing us? Is the helmet cutting off his vision that much? Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. Uh, come on. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. <laughs> it was just one dude. Later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready. What are we gonna do? Steal a horse? Steal a camel? Easy. Steal an elephant? Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Oh yeah, well, so elephants are a thing in uh, A Song of Ice and Fire. I cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs. Well, House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Like, wasn't that a thing that Cersei was like complaining about in the latest season? I wanted those elephants. She stammered. And she's got no right to want anything at this stage, considering all that she's done. The black. Lion Queen of King's Landing. Maybe the seven rest her soul, or whatever. Uh, this looks a bit dangerous. Hello, no one here, just a friendly handmaiden. Is there any good reason we should be peeking in here? No. Uh, Bollocks. Can we, like, listen? Uh huh. Fuck it. Let's just open it. See what's in here. Mera? Oh shit. Oh. Shoot, what's going on in here? The intrigue. Isn't this our room? What the fuck happened here? Yeah, that's ours. That's all our shit. Everything's still here. So what do they want? Hmm. We got a desk. We got some discarded letters. We got fruit! We got a little... Oh, yeah. What's up with the fucking pot? Hmm. Why would someone do this? Maybe they were just very clumsy. I don't know. Oh, boy. Yeah, this doesn't look good, does it? I will go to the desk last. I want to see this note. Oh, come on. 
time. There's no reason I to hesitate. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. I'm gonna take a wild guess. It's from that servant boy. Shoot! I guess I should have investigated the desk first. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Ugh. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... That was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. Trying to be just cheeky at a time like this. You'll want to see gentleness in you too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. But this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Oh boy, I don't know how well this is gonna go. I might blow this. There's a very high chance that I will blow this. And perhaps for reasons that are entirely out of my control because of decisions I made in the past. So, there she is. You look... Welcome to Iron Rath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. Wow, she was just straight up speechless for a while. I guess she was told that we, uh, Wait. Roderick died. Oh man, if anyone in the chat has some suggestions if they played this before, go ahead and shoot them my way. So, here we are. How have you been, Elena? Oh. It's been quiet, I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult, but I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. Uh, but don't ask us but to dance in our state now. For a funeral, and you. Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I want to know what you're going through. I'm getting better every day. Might be a while before we dance again, though. I'm glad to hear you're recovering. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. Maybe I wanted you to find me. Hmm. Oh, that's touching, but we're about to say something that'll make her take her hand away. But, Roderick... I'll bet you anything. I, um... I need to ask you something. Well, didn't even have to say anything. When I arrived it's already fucked up. Today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said... some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? I don't know. We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron No. He just wants to assure our loyalty. Uh, I don't know how to be delicate I'm about to this. Be with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family, My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. My house is stronger than it looks. 
Every one of us is fighting to survive, even beyond Ironrath. <sighs> it's good to hear you so assured. But I have to be practical. Lena. Man, she's not buying it for a it second. Doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Even for you. Shit. I wasn't able to answer. Convince me. But apparently it's not to be. Uh... I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. That is none of your concern. Oh, I beg to differ. You can do much better than this cripple. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. What? That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. What sort of a game are you playing, Whitehill? I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now, I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. What are you talking about? Who's ordering who? Enough of this. <sighs> what? Fine. Let's talk this through. How about... I talk, and you fucking listen. Sure. Here's the idea. We're gonna make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Neil. Kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. What? You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing. And we'll get to see Ryan again. Go on. Fuck it. Get on your the... knees. Wait a minute. No. Kiss it. Look, you can't ask a cripple. <laughs> you can't... Do what you, must. you can't Fuck force it. a cripple to kneel. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, that child's dead to and me. because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Snow I said... know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. We will not stand for this. What are you gonna do? Bludgeon me with a walking stick? <laughs> well, I ought to. I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Eh, I don't think that went well for anyone. Now did oh, it. By the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick... The Ruined. Isn't that clever? Uh, I really had to say it, but I think this kind of endurance is just what we're in for. Your house is worse off than I imagined. Oh, shit. I'm sorry for you, Roderick. Yeah, she's got a worse opinion of us than ever. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. Yeah, I'd put my knees ahead What's of that. What's Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? I couldn't kiss his ring in front of Elena. She would have understood. Would she? I don't know. This whole this whole chapter is just bollocks in my opinion. There's some way that you can manage to pull it off, but fuck it, I don't care. My lord. Are you well? No! Piss off! This fight isn't over. Not even close. Ugh. 
I hate every bit of this. Send us back to the wall. Thank you. At least Gren's got something to look forward to. Heights and bitter cold aside. We get down. Can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. I know that. And you know that, but that bloody force finger don't know that. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. What? Why? I don't know anything about that. Hope he's not right. He said you fought for the North with the Foresters. You were there. At the twins. Oh, yes. you'll want to hear about this then. I still don't understand. Three thousand men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? Why didn't they rally to their king? Nobody was expecting it. One minute we were drinking and telling jokes, and, and the next. The phrase cut us open. I got a feeling those were recorded those very separately. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Shoot, just let him say what he wants to say, man. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are wardens of the North. John, you know that you can't be talking did. political like this. You've it's sworn off your house. They killed my lord. I couldn't stop them. <sighs> I guess it's unavoidable. That's just how Northmen are. Look at that pout! Garrett is just such an expressive little child. I love him. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the nice watch. Eh, I don't know about that, Johnny boy. The later seasons have something to say about that. Bring out your dead! Shoot, didn't mean to. S Never mind that. The bell. The bell is throwing me off. Welcome to the top of the wall. Try pissing off it. It's fun. Everyone does it here. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners what? who will call you traitor. Oh, Northerners right. Southerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything <laughs> about it. Trust me, I know. It's really nothing that you can respond with. Just let him finish his spiel. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. What happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. So, I'm noticing some little bits and pieces along the wall. Are those stones? Snowballs? Or did it come from a person? I'm thinking it's option number three. <laughs> it's a rooster crowing outside. Wonder if that caught on Mike. That'd I felt be... the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? For the last time, my uncle you wanted that. Your life out there. To find the North Grove. Fuck it, we'll tell him. The North Grove. Yeah, he don't know what that is. You serious? Come on, John. You know that there's all kinds of mysteries the out there beyond the wall. Used to tell us a tale about ice dragons and trees tall as the sky. Why would you want to find the North Grove? I don't What's know. The to you? Because it's real. I know it. I suppose I thought giants were just a story. And then you saw them, didn't you? Didn't you, Jon Snow? Recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand Warthens. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers, thieves, rapers. 
You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Yeah, that whole North Grove thing was kind of an aside, you wasn't it? Past your differences. I'll stand with them. Glad I mean, we don't really you. have much of a choice now, do we? Size out. We weren't fighting among them. We were just cold. defending ourselves. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Yeah, he means it. You might not feel it, but that cold gets to you like crazy. Light some torches, for God's sake. Meanwhile, oh, right, King's Landing, midnight. We're gonna meet someone. In all likelihood, uh, that little uh, coal boy. If I'd had to guess, who the fuck else could it be? I'm here, but where are you? Yeah, this is a really spooky situation to be in. But fuck it, let's just go. Probably we're gonna have to avoid being seen by guards or something. It's a rabbit. It's a wee little rabbit hiding in the bushes. Should I be watching for something? Jeez, alright. Spook me like crazy, why don't you? Uh, what is that? Is that is that the guy from a? Oh Where shit! Think you're going? At this time of night. I don't know. Well, silence is always an option. Do you know what this uniform means? No. It yes. It means you serve the Lannisters. So you best get yourself back to your chambers, and I mean now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Is there no way I can change your mind? Did you not hear me? Sheesh, this guy's all business. Easy, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes. Wouldn't need the one that I saw. Indeed. Yeah, he was it was the it was the stupid door guy. Jeez. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. Not who I was expecting. I'm Damien. You were in the throne room earlier. Did you leave me this note? Yeah, it must have been him. I'm very glad you could make it. So... I've been wanting to talk hmm. to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. Are you telling me that he scuffled all through that looking for some blank paper? I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What? What are you talking about? I'll make this quick if that helps. Holy I'll shit, that escalated summer. quickly. <gasps> There we go. Yeah, that didn't work. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Help him. Christ. Do we, do we have a choice here? Do we have to kill him? This ain't gonna end well now, is it? Look, if JoJo's Bizarre Adventure has taught me anything, it's that this kid's gonna be instrumental to saving our life. What? What? What happened? What, what was that? What does it look like? He tried to kill me! Why would he do that? Just get out of there, you bird brains! What are you doing here? I heard yelling. <laughs> what 
<laughs> oh, what's that blood splatter? Someone might see me. I'll take care of you. I know a few places in Fleabot. <laughs> oh, shit. Never find him. Don't tell anyone. I won't. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> oh, fuck. Yeah, this is where we get out. This is where we run. This is where we hide. Where are you? Oh, good thing he was there to dispose of the body. Christ. Uh, hmm. You know what? We're probably going to need this. We might just have to kill again to get out of here. Whoa, hoo, hoo. Things are getting mighty heated in her story. Gwyn Whitehill doing here? Oh, was that who that is? No idea. Sorry, I thought that was his uh, mother. Hello, Roderick. Except Hello, younger. Lord. Jeez. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Russia for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady. I'd like to think that she's on our side. I came here because... I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. I know my words probably mean nothing to you. But they're all I have. Oh, I'll just be polite. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Your brother didn't deserve this. Neither of them did. Listen. I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage. But I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation. But if I can offer you this... It's something, at least. So you have news of Ryan? Yes. He's well. Not happy, but... Just know your brother is safe at High Point. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died... Because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor, like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... I thought you should know. Ryan is strong-willed, like father was. He will not bend. I'm sure you're right. But he feels forgotten. Alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. I will get him back. He'll be with his family again. You tell him that. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. And how do you propose we do that, eh? Enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. What in the world is she proposing? Roger, you should speak to Mother. Oh, I bet she's furious with us. Mother, come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family. But instead they send her. Gwyn may be able to help us. <laughs> it's happening all over again. Oh, that you face! See, my father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. They will take everything from us. Our family is strong, Mother. We will not fall. Many men are strong, and still the night takes them. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds... Holy shit, Catelyn! No matter what, you must do it. 
promise me? You'll go mad thinking like that. I have seen what men must do to win a war. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Sheesh. Mira, Asher, even Garrett, they all stand with us. I don't, I don't think she has much of an opinion of Garrett Tuttle. Yes. I suppose we have to be. Would you say a few words, my lord? Ah, uh, fine. <laughs> what happens if you pick silence on this one? It's ought to be pretty funny. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Who did I ever want it to be? He showed me what it is to be a lord. Alright, I guess I'm not cho- Okay, I guess I am choosing this. He was always kind. I never knew a better man. And I am... I am sorry. I love you, father. Ethan, my little brother. He stood up to Ramsay Snow. He saved our sister's life and paid with his own. He was only a boy. Well, I hope that decision of mine at least goes down in the record books. We honor Lord. I can't wait to Forrester. see what the fucking results of this. Uh, Decision-making session is I going know. to be. And our Lord Ethan, <laughs> my sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Oh right, they do something with seeds, right? Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice, and from their sacrifice. Oh, that's a really sweet uh, funeral. Sentiment, I actually. Am from ice. I, I am I from ice. ice. <laughs> what does it matter which one you light first? Oh, I wish I had the graphical fidelity to run better. Good. Gooder fire. Ugh. These are just weird, wispy particle effects. Well, whatever. Oh, that's right, she has a song prepared. Oh, this ought to be good. You can do it, Talia. From eyes, from eyes, we forced us born. To eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn to guard this rest you've earned. I'd bear my neck to Swim the shivering sea. Pain savers pay in crimson rains to bring Ethan back to me. Snow grabbed me from my mother's grasp to claim.
was very good. And hey, don't think I didn't notice those lyrics. That song actually changes depending on what decisions you've made. That's really cool. I can appreciate that. Next time on Game of Thrones! What's going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Boy, can't wait to meet him. To torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it, all the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men whispering about them. The Lannister Guard. They're questioning people. Is there anything else for me to be worried about? What was that? Oh, that's right. I forgot. One of uh, one of Daenerys's dragons makes an appearance. All right. Uh, looks like we are in the vast majority for most of these decisions. Marjorie's letter, or Whitehill's stupid fucking grassly ring. Don't even know what that word means. Stood up for Cotter. Uh, did we? I mean, we didn't rat him out. Is that what that counts as? And we killed that fucking Lannister soldier. I mean, who wouldn't at this point? Uh, yeah, uh, this betrothal is just a doomed prospect, if you ask me. From eyes, from eyes, we fall. Well, that's great and all, but I don't need to hear the whole thing all over again, thank you. Uh, well, join me next time when we, uh, do all that. Hmm. So there's six episodes to this, eh? Well, let's move on then, shall we? Let us see what we... You know what? I really need to go and find a better uh, BRB image. Let's see.